I had a problem with uh, my little Chinese scooter here. It wasn't really going quite as fast as I'd like. I'd like to I'd like to be able to go a little faster than it's designed to go, and I kind of was over revving the engine all the time. And it isn't good to run around full throttle all the time. So to get a little more speed, I ordered some gears from Scrappy Dog Scooters. And uh, they were pretty easy to install. This is your gearbox here. This gear right here is the one that is replaced along with this pinion gear here. And in order to replace the pinion, you got to take this gear off the old pinion and put it on a new one. Uh, a lot of people think they're pressed on there, but after measuring this thing, I kind of think they should be shrunk on there. So uh, that's what this video is just to show you how, how I shrunk it on there. It went on real easy. There was no problem at all in doing it. Uh, they're going to give you this gear here, which uh, slides on there. And on that spline, that has a spline on it, so you don't have any problem with that. And the, the difference you'll see is that this gear doesn't come near as close to the housing here. Therefore, it's smaller in diameter, and this gear is bigger in diameter, which is going to gear it a little bit taller. Kind of like taking your bicycle and putting it in you know, a little higher gear uh, to get a little more speed without having to crank so fast. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, pretty straightforward thing to do, take the gearbox apart and uh, clean it up a little bit. There, there really wasn't much problem with the oil or anything. I've been using a synthetic oil in the, in the gearbox. But uh, what I did is I, I, after measuring the clearances on, the, on, these, uh, on this pinion, I decided that this gear had to go on by heating, heating this gear and the pinion gear, uh, I put that in a freezer and got it cold as I could before I tried to press them together. Could you put them together with a, like a big brass hammer? Yeah, you probably could. It's, it's not that tight a press. If you were to try to press it without heating this gear, uh, this gear expands a lot, maybe four or five thousandths. That hole is going to grow when you heat it. And I just heated it in a toaster oven is what I did. And... Uh, it went together easy and then of course when the gears cool off and match temperatures it's going to shrink down and when it shrinks down on that pinion it's, it'll have a real good grip on it. That's real tight. Uh, much tighter than a press fit. A shrink fit is much tighter than a press fit. Got a new gear set from Scrappy Dog Scooters today. They're very reasonable. They don't cost much. In fact I think it's amazing how cheap they are for what you're getting in that. Uh, in order to put these together, I put this pinion gear in the freezer to get it cold, and the other gear I put in the toaster oven. This is just an old toaster oven. I keep it around down in the shop just for heating things and doing jobs like this. Slide it up to broil. That's as hot as it'll go. Just make it hot as it'll go. You can't really hurt the gear with one of these things. Uh, as long as you don't change the color of it, if you're using a torch or something, don't don't heat it more than straw colored. You might ruin the heat treat in the thing. So, uh, anyways, pressed together real easy. It was an easy easy kit to put on there.